Hey, what is up, everybody? Um, here is uh, oh, I can't zoom in on it. Here's Call of Duty Black Ops. Good game. Just a few things, uh, just a few ideas. I'm running around here. What about making? All right, hold on. Here's Call of Duty Black Ops. I've got all of them except for the expansion pack. I'm just gonna let it run on demo mode. Uh, here's an idea. All right, hold on. That's a little loud. Uh. Here's an idea. What about uh, let me set the, prop this up here. What about Call of Duty? Um, make one disc or two, a two disc game offline, offline and online here. Still too loud. Fucking or the guns are loud. All right, here we go. Call of Duty. Um, just running an idea for uh, Call of Duty. What about take the best map on each Call of Duty, starting from one. Uh, and then one and a half, which is the expansion pack, which you can get for like five dollars now. It was only made for the PC, I believe. Um, anyways, uh, each Call of Duty game take take the best map um, or the most popular one of each game. There's like nine Call of Duties or ten or something like that. Each Call of Duty game and make one game online and then one offline, like a a campaign or some sort of thing like that. Uh, but take the best map of each one I uh, like Call of Duty 1 expansion pack for Call of Duty uh, 2 Call of Duty the big red one Call of Duty 3 Modern Warfare Modern Warfare 2 Black Ops and so forth just take the best map kinda like what they did with Halo uh, they added Halo 2 was so popular that they took uh, like one of the best maps by request from the people and uh, that's what they did alright now I'm gonna flip over and show you another idea I have for Call of Duty, um, which I think th I think this would be a genius idea. Okay, Call of Duty ideas. All right, Call of Duty Vietnam. Ah, uh, yeah, Vietnam. Lots of uh, jungle. Like they have a map on Black Ops. It's okay. It's called Jungle, but it's not really a jungle. They have one um, Call of Duty World at War. Oh, I forgot to add that in World at War too. Uh, that's more of a jungle on that one. It's got waterfalls and stuff. But anyways. Uh, Call of Duty Vietnam, huge, huge expansion pack, pack map. That would be awesome. I've always wanted Call of Duty to go into the Vietnam area. Uh, when we left Vietnam, we uh, killed 4 million Cambodians over there, too, on our way back. Well, Henry Kissinger did because he was, you know, he was playing both sides. We were friends with the North Vietnamese and South Vietnamese, but what about a Call of Duty Cambodia? Make it a small $20 game. A small like offline game or online and offline you know $19.99 or $29 just make it a cheaper one Call of Duty Korea make a larger one out of that because we the Korean War you know the Forgotten War um, and then make a huge free-for-all uh, Vietnam map which I already uh, Vietnam was a huge huge war you know and then this is a big one for me. I cannot stand those stupid ass dogs. They just drive me nuts. I did even in black. They're in Black Ops too. That's annoying, especially for Nuketown. Nuketown's a Nuketown to me reminds me so much of um, the fuck's the name of that game? Counter Strike. It's like fucking Counter Strike. You know the graphics aren't that great, but it's a lot of fun. Black Ops is a lot of fun for one reason. It's a simple game. It's not real technical like. Uh, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 1. By the way, Modern Warfare 1, in my opinion, had the best graphics. Modern Warfare 2, eh, it's getting kind of unrealistic and shit. Wait, no dogs, no scopes. This is a biggie for me. Too many people use scopes. You ever go on YouTube, that's all you fucking see people is with the fucking scopes. Oh my god. Whatever happened to running around shooting and knifing people and throwing grenades at people? Keep it simple. That's my idea. Keep it simple. No scopes. There's so many people, you know. You can kill somebody from a mile away with a fucking scope and not even leave. Okay, so have a map with no scopes. Have a map with no dogs. And please, no fucking helicopters. No computers that you can fucking sit there and type in the shit. You know what I mean? Uh, so no scope map. Uh, let's see here. What else did I have? No baby monitor guns. Oh my god. All this technical shit is just so fucking annoying. And the scopes on uh, Modern Warfare 2 where you can see the impress impersonation or the impression of the person. 
None of that shit. No night vision, a map with no goggles, no night vision, no helicopters, and no dogs. Oh my god, that'd be awesome. So, yeah, no baby monitors, you know, those little GPS guns, all that technical shit. So, keep it simple, get rid of all the technical shit on a few maps. No call-in strikes, mainly of the no-scope map, though. And a no-dog map, no high technical shit. A more basic Call of Duty is what I'm calling for. Um, be cool if we could get all together and join me. Another thing I want really bad is a realistic online Friday the 13th PC game or uh, for Xbox. That would be badass. Where you're fighting Jason Voorhees or uh, maybe you can unlock the mom as a character. You know, and you're using pots and pans and hockey sticks. Anything you can find in the camp to beat the shit out of them. You know, and go online with it. Maybe Freddy versus Jason. Maybe Freddy could be another guy you could unlock. That'd be a killer idea. Come on, man. There's 12 damn Friday the 13th and 9 Freddy Kruegers. But mainly Friday the 13th. There's 12 of them. Come on, there's 6 Rockies and there's fucking God knows how many. What, 2 or 3 games? Uh, Jason's got one game and it sucks. But on the idea of Call of Duty, these ideas here, tell me what you guys think. Call of Duty Vietnam. I think that'd be awesome. Call of Duty Cambodia, which is pretty close to Vietnam, I think that'd be cool. Call of Duty Korea, really awesome. Who knows, they might do this anyways. You know, a huge free-for-all Vietnam map. I hate having to choose sides, but even if it wasn't a free-for-all, come on, you know, uh, have anybody out there played Men of Valor? It's like $9.99 on eBay or 8 bucks, $2 for shipping great 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 game it's really cool it's not a bad game for ten bucks fairly realistic too you know what is there shell shock one shell shock two it's kind of a neat game but it's kind of confusing to figure out how to do all this shit so i give up easy um, gotta say though black ops this game here really good game kicks ass it's a lot of fun i haven't played the campaign but i'm online all the damn time like right here i'm I'm just letting it run while I make this. Alright guys, this is just me rambling on again. Rambling Rod Dawn or whatever. Rambling Dawn. I'm um, just going through some ideas here I had. So, hold on a second. Well, actually, I don't need to do that. I can just do this here once again. I've got the Call of Duty game. Take the best maps off of each one. You know, like from Call of Duty 1, Call of Duty uh, Expansion Pack, Call of Duty 2, Call of Duty uh, 2, uh, or three the big red one the big red one in my opinion is my favorite that was a lot of fun to play but they had the old thompson guns and stuff i like the new call of duties but i really miss going online with like call of duty the big red one a lot of that world war ii stuff in call of duty one there's a part it's really funny and uh, the german guy goes like this he goes and he's flipping me, off, flipping me off, so I take a hand grenade and i throw it over there and it kills him but he's sitting there he's behind a pile of rocks and he goes just like that there it's funnier than shit yeah call of duty the the old school and they actually came out with a call of duty um like uh like uh it's like the first one that you can play on the xbox uh so they they re-brought it back out i forgot the name of it uh call it and then there's that game day of defeat that's a lot of fun too but anywho on the subject of call of duty these are just a few ideas here the main thing is get rid of the dogs on a map just make one map uh, make a Vietnam map, or a Vietnam Call of Duty, make a Cambodia, make a Korea, get rid of all the high-tech shit where you got a helicopter, machine guns, like Nuketown. Nuketown should not have call-in strikes or ha helicopters. You know, people shouldn't be getting 30 kills that way. They should run around. No scope on Nuketown. You know, just my opinion. It's a small map. Don't let anybody use scopes. Don't use any claymores. Don't use any of that shit. Just have a knife, a grenade, a pistol and a machine gun you know four things right there a knife a grenade a pistol and a machine gun that's that's basic just some ideas I'm running around um, you guys let me know maybe you got some video responses you can do back to me let me know what you think alright this is rock on dawn the real rock on dawn signing out this is Xbox 360 Call of Duty Black Ops PS3s are only $2.99, but there's a lot, from what I hear, there's a lot of hackers on there, so you're better off to go with the Xbox 360, I guess. I have a shitload of games. Um, I know uh, certain people call me broke, Don, but look, 
Look at all those games. It goes all the way to the floor. I know my room's a fucking pig pen, but look at all these fucking games I got. I got a shitload of games. I got thousands of dollars just in games. Look at this goes all the way down to the floor too. I have never sold a game. I have some and and in this pile of shit over here I have an Xbox under there. A PS2 right here. Two 360s right there. This one's modded. This one isn't. Don't mod out, man. I got busted for life and I had to go out and buy a Modern Warfare 2. 250 gigabyte. Yeah, that's a $400 uh, Xbox. So, Modern Warfare 2, not a bad game, but uh, Black Ops, this game kicks major, major ass, you guys. I definitely recommend this one. And I haven't been real too uh, pleased. I like Modern Warfare. That's a great game. I like all the World War II Call of Duties, but I'm really wanting a Vietnam one, man. Come on, uh, who makes Infinity War or Activision or Treyarch or whoever the hell makes this Infinity War or whatever. Make a Vietnam for Rock on Dawn, guys. Come on now. All right, guys, this is me signing out. Peace. Thanks for watching, everybody.